all right welcome back to the channel i'm king of bad and in today's video we're back trying to record the rest of this dark series we ran into issues last time where i ended up glitching the game out and getting stuck behind where i was supposed to actually be at so now i have to run back through it all and get back to where i was and continue past that hopefully i remember how to do it and i also have to see where we left off at uh looks like we left off in the tower which i know we com we've completed already so i'm not even gonna continue with that so actually i'm gonna try and get back to where i was before and then bring y'all back and now we can go ahead and deal with that go could just go through it what else am i gonna do game come on okay oh fuck okay that scared me twice all right anyways so now at this point we've done everything behind us and we're doing this side of what's in front of us the the weird thing about this is that if something were to just walk up and snatch our skull off the ground that'd be it because we have no real way to like hey don't do that or anything like that you know and yeah, the skull's gonna stay there we're gonna go back through here so now we're doing something new that we haven't gotten into in the last thing. So maybe this will be a mashup of the stuff that I missed last time. Also, I don't even know how I didn't think to do that. I must have overthought the entire situation to have just decided not to come down here because that wasn't difficult at all. Okay. Need to come back down here later then. Got to remember how to play again. Or let's see, actually. Yeah, I got to find something else to come back down here. So I need to find some circle piece so I can finish what looks like a circuit breaker or a board of some sort. And let's see if I can bring this all the way around without having to run back and forth up this piece. Okay, cool. I don't. I didn't need to jump back to grab the skull itself, though. Uh, which isn't bad. So at this point, I'm going to go run upstairs and see what's going on up there. Or try and remember if we can get through everything up there first. So really what I want to do is bring the skull back out. Put the blocker in, put it on the roof and see what I can get from there. But right now, this is as far as I have. Or at least it looks like it's as far as I've gotten. We'll drop that in there. Okay. the roof there hit the ceiling that's gonna lock that door so i can run in there freely as just a human now i guess i guess it opens up this puzzle for completion also here we go got it just had to look up a guide for it real quick because I definitely had no clue what was going on there for real. Okay, so now we get this key, right? Skull key, which I assume is going to let us open up this crypt area back here, right? Because there's a, what appears to be, or there appears, okay, that one didn't scare me because I couldn't even see where it was coming from at first. But there appears to be some sort of like a locked coffin or something over here, right? I know I didn't even, uh, Okay, this cut right here, this one that I just did, uh, I'm coming in like while I'm editing, was a cut of like 30 minutes of me running back and forth and all over the place trying to figure out where I was actually supposed to go. Then I stopped, looked up a video, watched it to figure out what I needed to do. So that's how I got to the next portion of where it's going to cut to. Because I know it's, it's going to jump from like the top of the crypt all the way down to the bottom right now. So I just wanted to explain that real quick. Uh, but yeah, it works out. I don't think there's any way back there to control the head. Basically don't want to leave the head right in front of the lever so it doesn't put us on the far side where there's no way to control it basically. I don't like how you have to go back and forth to complete this, but can't really say anything. Stay over there. 
but this is a whole different this is like the most additive portion of the game i believe the crypt part because otherwise oh shit i didn't see that at all the first time i played this actually like i was getting to it definitely was getting to it but it wasn't all the way there just yet okay so now i want to bring my actual body down and okay what well, do i have to get everything of a specific one well, obviously, yeah, everything of one specific thing has to be on top of where it's supposed to go, right? I just realized I've been doing this the hard way the whole time. I didn't see those. There were those two nooks on the top left and right to like pause stuff. I was going to do this. I was going to do it long enough to realize that I was missing something and then get mad at the game for it being impossible. But I just realized it by myself that I was doing it the hard way. 100%. Uh, this is entirely easier now that I've seen the errors of my ways. I thought I only had like one or two spots of like actual space to breathe but now it's like <laughs> as soon as i saw that it was like completely clear of how i'm supposed to do it but this should give us our last key right okay never mind but that should give us access to the area to get our last key but that's that side done with the bridge across like that i think i was able to bring the skull up and down so I, so I think I leave it where it's supposed where it's at now. I can't remember that. Or I need to just switch it back to move it. Yeah, I do need to switch it. Actually, I don't know why I was able to. I walked up the wall there, so it means that the skull had to have been stuck, right? Oh well. How dumb I would have felt if I was wrong. Like I was able to go by the first time, so it has to go back and forth like four or five times. Overall, though, we're about to get to the end of this. Well, at least we have one or two more puzzles left. So it's a vamp. That's why I couldn't see it going across. Okay. And hopefully my room gets colder too, because it's kind of hot as shit in here. Well, I say hot as shit. I didn't like it to be like. I don't know, 40 degrees or lower in my room. What I'm not going to like about this is that it's a quick time event. And it's a quick time event where you're don't you don't even stand near where you actually get control of stuff at. Okay. Well, you have to like switch it with that last one's in it. Well, the last one's in it then. Well, this is going to be annoying more than anything. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a two-parter for the crypt. The tower was a real one shot. Even the first time I recorded it without messing it up, it was still a one shot episode type of thing. Come on. Okay.
Why is it going faster as I go? Plus, I have to move back and forth to hit it because you have to hit it twice for it to go. Yeah, I kind of messed that up trying to jump ahead for the later portions. Oops, I got that one set up already. Okay, I think I got it on this try for sure. No, it's not. It's not for sure, but I think I got it on this try. Still recording, too. So. Hello? Uh, okay. Yeah, I just didn't set that up right. So what I got to do is I got to set it up towards one away. Oops. Yeah, I should have rolled clean. Okay, I think I got it now. I should have rolled clean past the third one. There we go. That should be it. Yep. Yep. I definitely probably could have got that like two or three tries ago if I slowed down and didn't rush as much. Okay. Is this the key that we need? Yes. All right. Now let me make sure my skull doesn't get stuck down here. We should be on our way out of this bitch because this, this is pretty fun. Uh, I think I probably would have enjoyed it a little bit more if it didn't uh, make me do it a second time. Well, not make me do it a second time. If, it, if I didn't glitch the game out the first time and then have to come back and do it a second time. Because I definitely had the energy and was in the flow of it. That didn't scare me as much. I was definitely in it and with the flow of it the first time I was playing it. Then when I had to come back and redo it, it's like, okay, let me make sure I remember all the stuff that I already did. So I don't spend a bunch of time on that. And then try and get to the new stuff and make sure I'm recording all of the new stuff while not forgetting any of the old stuff, right? So I ended up forgetting all the old stuff and remembering none of the, like I got the new stuff fairly quickly. Besides that, well, actually, I found how to the start of the new stuff pretty quickly because um, I had to look up the bell tower, right? But the circle piece I got on my own. I feel like if I figured out how to do the circle thing before the bell tower, I might have thought to move the bell ring pattern while it was going sooner than I did because it took me looking it up to figure that part out. But otherwise, I'd say I did pretty good on this one because usually it takes me longer to figure out some of these puzzles. Actually, I think overall I did the puzzles pretty quickly, but it just it was a whole issue of trying to remember where I was, what I've done and then what's next to do. And this should give, I don't even know what we're looking for, honestly. I know there's that one area. Is 
this how I get my skull back on? Yep. Don't gotta like sprint out of here now. Oh. Oh, okay. Not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, we, uh, okay. That looks like the bathroom from that, from our original nap. Apparently, too, this is supposed to be a dude named Lloyd's Dreamscape. I don't know what's happening. Either we just beat it. I guess we beat it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, that's going to be all for dark. Now we've actually completed everything. Because what I call... And now I'm confused. No, these are all... These are all stuff that we've done already, right? Because I remember this coming up fairly recently. I think that was in the crypt also. Because that's definitely the very beginning of the game. So... We played all of these because that's the chapters of the normal game, and then this is the DLC. All right, so thanks for watching. That's gonna be all for Dark officially because what I call it the finale wasn't. So don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, subscribe. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. Appreciate all the the blow up from the first like my what is it the finale to the SpongeBob video started blowing up. I don't know a year ish later, and like after it went posted or right, after it posted, so. Glad that's happening, I guess. Well, not even, I guess. I'm glad that's happening, but uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. Helps me grow the channel. Uh, you know, it's fun. I'm not going to keep rambling on at the end, though. So keep watch for, like, another random series of some random game that I get. And then also Star Wars uh, Fallen Order. That's what's going to be coming next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.